Hey folks, Nas here. We are going to be trying out a new game today. I uh, found this the other day, just happened to stumble upon it. Looks like it's been out, uh, was released on Steam on March 30th. Uh, Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon. Uh, this is going to be by Awakened Realms. It's the publisher and the studio is uh, Questline. Now this is a currently a single player game i don't know if there are plans for it to be a multiplayer at any point but right now it's a single player game it is an open world rpg uh let me go through the summary and, and some of the key features here tainted grail the fall of avalon is an open world dark fantasy rpg full of quests loot choices and monsters set on a bleak island on the verge of ruin step into a dark reimagining of arthurian legend Explore a world stuck in everlasting autumn. Witness the fall of legends and make meaningful choices woven into a complex, branching storyline. The game is inspired by and based on the lore of the board game of the same name, uh, which was created by one of, one of Poland's best fantasy writers. I am not going to try and pronounce his name, but I will put it on the screen because <laughs> I would butcher it. You know how I am with names. Make friends and enemies. During your journey, you'll encounter simple commoners, battle-worn soldiers, and even gods of old in need of assistance. You'll have to make choices in a world where there are no right answers, but your decisions matter and your choices are respected. Trade, craft, cook. The game comes with many supporting systems that will allow you to use all of the gathering ingredients and transform them into useful items, life-saving potions, or food. Coming prepared to this land, engulfed in the misty weirdness, is the key to survival. Customize your character. Face enemies the way you choose. Whether you want to strike from the shadows, use bows and daggers, face to face using cold steel, or employ forbidden rites of the druids, you're free to decide. Create your own unique style and challenge the monsters of Avalon. Alrighty, now let's actually get into the game and see what this is all about. Now that we've gotten through the little PR uh, portion that they had sent me, a little media pack. I did purchase this game. Uh, I did actually did not request a key after. Um, so I found this game via a, a video or something that came across my feed. I thought it looked interesting. I actually purchased this game. For, for the price that they're asking for. Now, granted, it was on sale when I purchased it. Uh, chances are it will the sale will not be available once this video comes out because I think there was only a day left on the sale. But uh, as you can see, I've already started playing the game. Now, granted, I'm not going to continue playing the game for this video. We're going to look at this from a fresh view, uh, first look. So we're going to do new game. Consuming Red Death. 600 years ago, King Arthur led the great escape from the homelands, where our kingdoms were ravaged by the plague. Leading people to Avalon, he started the Age of Conquest and took the island from the Four Dwellers. Using the mysterious powers of men his, together with Merlin, they cleanse the land of the weirdness. A primordial force of chaos and possibility. But now, long after the death of the king, Camelot is in shambles as Avalon fractures into chaos. Old legends are gone and the weirdness is creeping back into our lands. The bleeding heart of the plague has started beating once more. And the Red Death has returned. Rulers of the Island Asylum, an order of the Red Priests, are desperate to stop it by any means necessary. Rotting in one of their cells is a stranger who might bring a spark of change to this cursed island stuck in everlasting autumn. 
Alrighty, so we got the creator, uh, the creator, the character creation screen here. As you can see, we've got a few different options, presets for this. Uh, you know, you got male and female. You got a couple of different options for the males. Uh, you got a few different options for the female. So what we'll do is we'll do the male. Uh, let's see, what we got gender, male, uh, body condition, normal, muscular, normal, muscular. Yeah, we'll give them a six pack. <laughs> eight pack maybe it's an eight pack wow. uh you got different skin colors from the light to dark obviously you can go with whatever you feel you like we'll go with whatever the the average is there uh you've got faces looks like there's a few different styles let's see what is this one okay raised eyebrows a little bit kind of a normal kind of look at me dude there we go no nope, don't turn your head Tell you what, if there was one thing I would I would like to see is less head movement when you're in this view. Either that or have his head still and you you can spin his head around to see the sides and stuff. So we can look at those. Okay. What's that? We'll go with that one there. Uh, we can go hairstyles. Kind of clips down through his shoulder there. Kind of a long hair. What is that? Short hair? Looks like the hair might need to need some work. But again, this is still early access. Uh, I'm not a fan. No, heck no. Uh, let's go with this one here. I think that'll be fine. And then you can go with different hair colors if you want. Purple. Oh, they got purple. I'll go with that. <laughs> Gotta have the purple hair. Uh, let's see. Beard styles. Oh, look at that. Okay. Stubble. What was that? Fu Manchu. Um, it's not looking too bad. I'm kind of I'm kind of fond of that one though. We'll go with the purple hair, the purple beard. It's kind of scruffy. All right, we're gonna give him a name. You can choose the difficulty. They got easy story. You take a lot less damage and deal a lot more damage. Okay, so that's, I guess that would be like easy mode or something, but this is easy mode. And then there's normal and hard. You take more damage, deal less damage. Uh, we're gonna stay just with normal. That was the default. And we'll go with Nats. He's going to let us use a three letter name. Are you sure you want uh, to play as this character? Yes, except. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Yes, it's me again. And I hope this time you'll cooperate without me needing to repeatedly hit you in the face, eh? Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybe I need to turn. Because I've changed some of the audio. Is there a voice? Okay, so yeah, the voiceovers are good. I've turned the music off. Master volume. We'll turn the master volume up a little bit. Yeah, we'll turn the master volume up a little bit. I can adjust some of that in, in editing. I had turned it down because some of it seemed a little bit loud when I was playing it before. But as you can see, the story told us we were in a jail cell, obviously, with a lovely view of a brick wall. Look, we just have to get this over and done with. Unless you want a visit from someone upstairs. And trust me, you don't. Just like before, no food until we're done here. And the moment you start getting on my nerves, we're going back to my tried and tested fists. So, tell me. What were you doing in the forest when the Red Shields caught you? I don't know. <laughs> what was I doing? What did you find me doing? <laughs> Help a brother out, man. Uh, let's see. I was on my way to enlist in the army. Something tells me I wasn't doing that. I was hunting, maybe. Uh, I was avoiding the city guards trying to sell some goods, potentially. Uh, I was looking for an ancient worship site. Or stay silent. 
We're gonna stay silent. Seriously? We've been through this already. Don't make me come in there. Okay, well, if we've been through this already, why are we going through it again? Uh, let's see. So we have, you know, the same options again. We're going to go ahead and stay silent. Okay, I've had enough of you. Oh, dear. His head just exploded. <laughs> I always found it puzzling that these people won't bathe. You, I understand. You're literally rotting in this damned cell. But them, there's just no excuse for the stench. Well, at least he likes his hygiene. There they are. Finally. I know, I know, you have a million questions forming in your head, but they'll have to wait. One of these keys will open your cell. When you get out, head left. I'll scout ahead. You, you couldn't unlock the gate for me? <laughs> now I have to reach through the gate and do it backwards? <laughs> okay, so Karadoc was his name. Uh, let's see, unlock the jail cell. Open. <laughs> it just, we'll just shove that body out of the way. He did, He doesn't need any of that. Let's see. Burgers fair. I think that's food. Yes. Food. Food. So, tab to get into this. You can go tab to get into your inventory. Uh, these are going to be your, your weapons slots, your loadouts, as they're called. And you can get to these with the one, I believe it's the one through four options on your keyboard. Um, then, obviously, your... Armor is going to go here. You do have armor weight that you have to be concerned about. So you could do light armor, medium armor, heavy armor, and each one has a different status effect. Uh, so like here, if we stay in the light range, we use 25% less stamina. Uh, let's see. We can go in here. The quests. Right now we only have one. Sorry, my voice is cracking for some reason. I guess I'm going through puberty again. Uh, then we go into our character screen. As you can see, we get attribute points, you know, at levels and skill points so the attribute points uh, are going to be placed in here so you have strength uh, which is you know enhances your damage dealt in close combat uh, improves your armor uh, reduces stamina cost for attacks and blocking dexterity which is attack speed range damage uh, and decreases stamina cost for dashing and shooting arrows spirituality which is going to be your mana mana regen magic armor perception uh, boost your critical damage uh, chance, reduces noise when sneaking, increases sec success rate for lock picking. So there's lock picking in the game. You can actually get lock picks and try to open locked chests and things like that. Um, endurance improves your health, stamina, and carry capacity. Oh, that's going to be a good one to have. Uh, and then practicality improves, excuse me, improves your chances for finding more loot. Uh, lower store prices and boost your crafting abilities um, and regardless of which how you're placing your points I have noticed there there are some quests quest options available that will help you increase some of these other uh, skills it'll give you a percentage of how much it's going to increase and stuff so uh, you can increase those some of those without actually putting points in them which is kind of nice so we don't have any points or any attributes right now we have a key in our inventory so we can do equipment which takes you to your equipment and you can equip your loadouts and stuff you can click bag to see what is actually in your pockets basically right now we only have two things but we do have a consumable this gives us 15 health what i'm going to actually do is go down here to the quick slots under equipment i'm going to click that and i'm going to click that so that puts us into a quick slot so we can quickly eat that if we need to uh, if we escape out of that your quick slot is q so if you hold q down you can actually see what's in your quick slots uh, these are actually going to be your weapon loadouts and then this can be your consumables, but we're not going to consume anything right now. Uh, let's see, sprint. So I do have tips on. We are going to go ahead and grab this guy's stuff. I'll even grab that broken arrow out of his head. <laughs> now, uh, let's see, we grabbed some things. So there's, if you go back, tab to get into your inventory, make sure that you're on equipment. You can actually click the each of the... Uh, armor slots and if you have that piece of armor you can equip it 
And we're going to put on, I don't think we have a cape yet, no. We're going to put on all of this here. Now, see, that put us up into medium. And I don't know that I want to do that. I kind of want to run bows later on, but we'll see. Uh, that gives us weight, but no armor. So I'm not even going to I'm not even going to do that cuz you do have to kind of watch your weight. Push too many buttons here. Uh, let's see. 5 armor, 4 armor, 10 and 6. Okay. I don't think we got any jewelry. No. No jewelry yet. And we got a club. So we'll equip that club. So at least that way we have a weapon now. Movement WASD attacking left uh, left mouse you can actually hold left mouse for a heavy attack. You can see your stamina going down there on the left, and then bam. Uh, blocking, right click, hide weapon, R. If you want to bring your weapon back up, you just hit one of the buttons on your mouse. It brings it back up. Uh, I don't think we can get into here. No, we have to have the key. Now, he told us to go left, but he came from this direction. So I'm going to guess that maybe this way is clear. Otherwise, he would have been seen. Yeah, that guy's got, you know, <laughs> that guy is having trouble seeing right now. But we're going to grab all of his stuff. And you can actually just kind of, ooh, a coin purse, I'll definitely take that. Oh, a figurine. Okay, that might be useful. Uh, and then, of course, you got books and stuff in the game. You can actually read those. This guy was clearly reading pornography. <laughs> <laughs> he was entertaining himself. Yes, he was entertaining himself. Uh, let's see. Ooh, a roast. We'll take that. I don't know that I need a mug. Moonshine. I could probably drink that later. Clubs. Uh, there are vendors in the game, so you can make uh, make uh, some money. Let's see, cooking for the resistance. Um... Oh, that gave us recipes. So we got cooking recipes just from reading that. I don't know that we need to take that since we read the recipes. And there's another interesting picture. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's some lockpicks in there. So you can, like, loot almost everything. Uh, let's see. There's a cooking pot. So you can actually go up to a lot of cooking pots. You'll see the little campfires and pots uh, around the map. We can actually do that. We can't make anything right now because we don't have the ingredients. More pictures if you're interested. And then resting. Resting will re uh, refill your health and stamina and all that stuff. Open that. Can we get anything from there? I'm literally just looking for pretty much anything. Uh, this is the Seven Commandments. Uh, do we want to take that? We can read that later. Didn't I just do that? No. These are all the seven commandments. Okay. Is there something as a jar? I don't know if I need the jar. The devil's snare. I'm not sure what that is. But we'll take it. This is obviously where that guy came in because he shot that guy in the forehead. Now, let's go left. And can we get in here? We, yes, we got that key. So another Seven Commandments book we've already got. This is good. Seven Commandments. That's the book. That's apparently that was the only reading material these guys were allowed. Oh, this is the lockpick. Um, I have five lockpicks. Well, you can actually turn the lockpick and... A and D turn the lock itself. So let's see. There we go. Got that unlocked. Is it going to be worth spending that? Uh, ramblings of a weary mind. We'll take that. We can read that later. Testament records or treatment records. Okay. Not sure that those are useful, but maybe later. Pale corpse. Devil snare. What is that devil snare? I keep seeing. Do I see it? Uh, fish soup. Beggar's fare. I don't see it. Wait. 
right there. Lose 20 health. Well, we clearly do not want to take that, but it might be helpful for a recipe or something later. Mistletoe, sage. Oh, wow. I have a feeling that, like, some of those uh, things are going to be ingredients for meals and stuff. What's in here? Seven Commandments. It's a popular book. Oh, I didn't necessarily mean to do that, but okay, let's see. Nope. Nope. There we go. So you got to turn, kind of turn the uh, the lock, the pick, with your mouse, I guess. And then use the A or D keys to turn the lock to see if you can get in. There's a heart. Everybody needs one of those, at least. I don't see any... Seven Commandments, Jar. Okay. I don't see anybody. Guards key. Oh man, we can get into here. Yeah, let's let's grab that. Uh, e to take individual items. F to take the whole lot. Uh, moonshine, peppermint, sage, honey, mead. I'm just literally taking everything. Oh, we might try and get into that. Ooh, old letter. Uh, we'll take both of those with F, and we can do J to read the letter. Uh, my dear Darton, Martin, I finally arrived at the island asylum and restave medication. Vaughn said my symptoms point to a very early stages of red death. Well, that doesn't sound good. Love you and miss you very much. Uh, P.S. I'm thinking of the name. Oh, were they having a baby or something? Oh, yeah. Born healthy. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's going to be helpful for anything later or not. Oh, meat? Yes, please. Uh, onion. Let's see, is there stuff down here? Yep. You always want to check for ingredients. Uh, ooh, there's a sh cracked shield. Okay, can we put that on? Yeah, we can we can block with the shield. Nice, that's good. I can't see squat. Let's put those away for right now. Grab that. Um, grab all of that. Now, at some point, we're going to be encumbered. We're going to probably have to decide what we're going to throw on the ground. Wow, that was a good haul. Uh, oh, let's try and see if we can get into here. There we go. Seven coin. Okay, I'll take it. Not a problem. Uh, what did we get? We didn't get any more headpieces. I thought I saw some chest. Let's see. Ten armor is what we're wearing. Four. One point six. That's light. Okay. We may switch to like light armor. What is going on down there? That guy's legs are just kicking. <laughs> okay. Now remember this is early access. Uh, shift to crouch. You can actually sneak. Now I don't, I don't see that there's a sneak meter. Like you can't see how visible you are when you're sneaking. Uh, lock pick. Okay, well, let's try that. Um, nope. 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 There we go. Well, that's loud. We probably just alerted everybody that we're in here. We've increased our sneak. We've reached level 11 on our sneak. Um, amputation knife. I don't know that I need that. Autopsy report. Uh, well, is that on a uh, subject 17? Oh, so it doesn't have a name. Uh, let's see. Devil snare, fish oil, basket, art, jar, and snare, mistletoe. Okay. Let's see. Keep moving. Is there 
hearts. I see hearts in there. I don't know what the hearts are used for, but I have a feeling they're going to be useful for something. There we go. Tell you what, I'm getting pretty good at this. Uh... Ooh, brains. Everybody needs one of those, too. Need a heart and a brain. Uh, experimental treatment report. Uh, maybe we'll take that. That could be useful, maybe. I don't know. Grab all of these hearts, though. Yeah, another one. Uh, what's going to be in here? Big skull. All right, let's uh, see if we can get in here. Nope. 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 There we go. Wow. Actually getting pretty good at this lock picking stuff. I was trying it earlier and man I was having a pain in the butt. It was having I was having trouble trying to figure that out. But I got it. So like you drowner tongue. But that's a big tongue. Holy cow. How big is that drowner? Uh measure medics measurement tool, amputation. I just don't know if I need those. Notes on weirdness mutation. Now the weirdness is that that mist plague thing. We're going to take that just in case somebody might need it. Uh, we'll take those tools. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to need them or not. Uh, what is this though? Medic saw. I don't know that I need a medic saw, but you never know. I already have a measuring tool. Uh, let's go to bag crafting armor. Those are new, but not better than what I have. Weapons. Okay, so we we can use the amputation knife as a weapon. We have one wooden arrow. Okay. These are our readable stuff here. Down at the bottom, you can see mark all as seen. You can hit Y, and it gets rid of all those little markers. So if you don't want that when you open up your inventory screen... Man, another locked room. Um, no, no, no. Broke that one. Try again. No, no. There we go. I had to go between the between the dots. But like when you put the the uh, lock pick in, you you just kind of turn it with by turning the mouse left and right. And then you use the uh, A and D keys to actually turn the lock. Father Vaughn's notes. Don't know. That's actually named, so we might take that as a heart. Measuring tool, bottle. Nothing else in here? That was it? Okay. What's in here? Uh, requires laboratory key. It's a note for Brother Sefton. Oh, we got a recipe. Healing tincture. Oh, I didn't get that other thing. Okay. That's good. I'm not going to worry about taking that because we just learned the, the recipes. Uh, looks like our guy came through here. <laughs> leaving a trail of dead bodies. Did we get anything that we can use? Uh, you know what? I kind of want to do the light armor, so let's go ahead and do that. And... Uh, let's see. Four, four, four. That was a six. Villager shirt. Uh, let's go with the priest robe. Okay, so we're back down into the light range now. So now we, we can use 25% less stamina. I kind of like that. Because I plan on using uh, a bow or something. I would like to do that. Sneak. Alrighty, so let's go down here. Oh, this looks inviting. Go down here. Um, I don't 
currently have a bow, but it would be nice to have one. I see a guy over there. I have a feeling... I have a feeling that we might need to do some combat. Uh, let's see what's down the hall. Here. Because that our guy hasn't been in there, clearly, because there's those guys aren't D E D. Oh, that's our guy there. Uh let's see. Oh, there's our air there's our bow. Can I pick up that arrow off of you? Wooden arrow? Yes. Did I get all of it? I did. Rest. Uh cooking pot. Can we cook anything yet? Uh we can, actually. We've picked up enough stuff. where we can cook all of these items. That one's going to give us 20 health. Let's go ahead and do that one. Make as many of those as we can. Okay, and then we're stuck with mashed potatoes. We can make one of those. Now we've made everything we can because everything's in red now. Now we can go back in here and go to equipment. Uh, we can go into our slots. There's mashed potatoes and the cabbage rolls. So this gives us 15, this gives us 15, and that gives us 20. And we have four of that one. Now to get into those, again, Q, you can access those. You can see these are your loadouts right here. Uh, do we want to talk to this guy yet? No. I want to go back through here. I want to I want to explore this little area because I have a feeling I don't think we can get back into these areas once we leave. So we need to like do all the looting that we can. Uh, let's see. I did not equip that, and it automatically equipped the wooden arrows. Let's do that. I don't think we have any. Yeah, we don't have any points to spend yet. Okay, so right, hold right mouse button, you kind of zoom in a little bit. I don't, if we shoot, to, is there anybody else in here? Let's see if there's anybody else in here first. Alright, so there's two guys there. Let's see if I can get this guy here. The enemy is near. Okay, did those other guys see me? I think these are all broken arrows. Ooh, that guy has a dagger. Now I was looking, there is a skill I can pick up later on that I have like a percentage to be able to get back non-broken arrows but the broken arrows uh, sell for coin so I can actually uh, sell those and get some coin back uh, let's see dagger that's 9 to 10 damage it's 10 to 14 so the wooden club is still higher damage but the dagger might be Might be faster? I don't know. Alright, let's see. I don't know if I want to do this or not. I probably should have fought that guy with melee. <laughs> that, that probably would have been the better thing to do. Um, let's see if we can at least get a headshot on somebody. Oh, I didn't even hit him. Oh, freaking hit the wall. There it is, right? Broken arrow. Dang it! I guess I can't shoot them there. What's that? Oh, it's a heart. I'll take that. Some stuff over there. I am prepared for this. I'm not. Your fate is sealed. <laughs> I think I hit him once. 
Uh, let's get this. You're no match for me. I am the prophet's hammer. Ah, whoo. Okay. Here we go. Run in. Get him. Block. Oh, I think I blocked that. That was good. My resolve is unshaken. Get him. Oh. Nice. My resolve is unshaken. And we'll take you down. Bam! Ding, ding. You're done. <laughs> Get my arrows back. Wooden club. Now, there were some items that were green. Let's see here. What do they got? Dagger, dagger, short bow. I've already got short bow. That's probably mine. None of those. Uh, let's see. The headpiece. Those are both five armor. I'm going to switch to that so we keep our weight low. But you can see that some of those items are green. Uh, like these here. Like that's got ten armor on it. That means that it's got... Obviously, if it's the numbers in green, it's going to be better than what you're wearing. But I want to keep that low weight. Uh, what about gloves? Still no armor on gloves. All right, so let's go back to equipment. Uh, I think I can probably put that on. Now, see, that pushes me to medium. So I have to, I have to keep those on to stay in the light so I use less stamina. All right, let's run around this room here. Spoiled meat. I don't know if that's going to do anything. A brain, a brain. There's nobody else in here. What do we got over here? Oh, healing potion. That is definitely going to be good. A blood clot. I don't know that I need that, but you never know. Like, there's so many ingredients in this game that I've seen. Spoiled meat, bone meal. Can't do anything with that. Nope. Nope. Uh, peppermint. Monster blood. Brain. Blood, hearts, and guts. The alchemy of viscera. Ooh, recipes. We like recipes. They're on the right-hand side. Uh, ooh, health potion. Mistletoe. Cooking pot. I don't think those are the recipes we got. Um, I think we got alchemy recipes. Open, bone meal. We got over here a brain, blood clot, monster blood, peppermint. Tell you what, if if we if I end up doing more videos on this, I'll probably oh here what's it? Alchemy station. I'll probably start doing maybe some videos on different recipes and stuff. Let's see, rage grants haste. A uh, common remedy that heals 15 health points. Okay. We can actually make that. That restores 25 mana. Now, granted, I can't make any of these, but this one's Berserk and Haste. Berserk and Haste. Okay. This one here is 15 health points. I have a feeling I might need to make those. Let's go ahead and craft those up, because health points is always good to have. There we go. And then, what do we got? That's 20, it's 15, and 15. Uh, let's put these in the first slot. There we go. We'll use those potions up first, and we'll save the food for later. Okay, I think that was it. Did I see something over here? Yeah, this here. Sheep's head? Okay, it didn't look like a sheep's head, but whatever. Sweet tooth? Like mushrooms or something. Cartonella? I, I, I picked that up too quickly, I couldn't read it. There's more sheep's head. Sweet tooth. 
Wow, there's a lot of a lot of unfortunateness in here. Oh, there's a guy down there. Red Priest. <clears throat> How many arrows do we have? <clears throat> we have six arrows, and I haven't found anything yet to replenish those. Um, and our health is low. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and use one of those. Okay, almost full. Can we take stuff here? Anybody else? We are crouching, right? Yeah. Bone meal. I don't know if the bone meal is for anything. I don't think we used it on any of the... In a, I don't think we used the bone meal on the recipe to make the healing potion. It's like... Uh, Encyclical of Second Pope. All right. I don't know that we need to pick those up. I'm stuck. Not literally, but... I see a glowing thing. We might need to pick that up, though. Uh, let's get this out. Let's at least get a... Sh no, I'm going to save this. We're going to do this. We're going to do a large attack. We're back. And... Oh, oh that was a big hit. For your <laughs> I know, buddy. That sucked, didn't it? <laughs> now, I hit him with the, the sword to the kind of stun him a little bit. There we go. He's down. I don't know. This mace and shield is pretty nice. Uh, let's see. What do we... Did he give us anything good? Let's go to our bag. Didn't look like he did. No? Give us a weapon. Not really. Nine, nine, ten. Yeah, everything's about the same. Okay. Uh, spectral sword. Oh, that's like a magic sword. All right. Uh, heart. Method of separating the mind. Well, it looks like they've been separating quite a few in here. Um, I'm going to take that. Man, I, I think I'm going to take this book over here, too. I don't know why, but I may, may or not need it. I don't know. Athletics, because I've been kind of running. Let's see. Roundup records. Oh, that that is making any difference. Let's see. Medical saw. A letter. Take the letter, even though it's not named. I'll take it. History of the Asylum. We'll click J. It talks about the asylum. We can read all that later. This is all lore stuff, so if you're into lore on games, that's definitely something you want to to pick up and read at some point. Let's see, spirit. Nothing up there. Oh, healing potions. Okay, okay. Hey, we had healing potions. Uh, let's... Where are those healing... Oh, we have four healing potions right there. 25. Yes, please. We will put those there. Uh, let's see. Spoiled meat. Alchemy station. Can we make anything of use? Berserk. Rage. Haste. And restores mana. So no, we really can't make anything yet. Uh, is there anything in the cabinet? No. Alrighty. Looks like we are ready to walk out the front door. That's that, that's that same door. That letter... You can barely see it, but that letter was on the front of that door when we came up to it originally. And that's the room that we went through, because that's the little busted opening over there. So we came through there, and then those two guys that were at the work bench were right there. Yeah, we're going this way, I think. And then we're going to go down the stairs. Stairs. 
just getting out of the prison. Okay. You took your sweet time, eh? I did. But I, I had to look and touch I it every time. When I was leaving this place for the first the time, you have to admit the red priests are quite resourceful when it comes to death and dying. I guess so. They they do death and dying well, apparently. Uh, let's see. Who are you? Why did you help me? Uh, you were a prisoner here. What's next? Okay, let's go with Great who are question, you? question, truly. But in case you haven't noticed, we're still within the walls of the Island Asylum. When we're out, then we'll talk. I'm told this path leads to the beach. I don't know how, but if it's true, then I'll wait there for you until dusk. Good luck. Okay. So, when... We first met him when we were in the jail cell. It, it popped up uh, with his dialogue that his name was Conquer, but that's all we know. Okay, so we gotta go this way. Picking up all the stuff. Uh, you can see your weight if you open your your inventory. You can see your weight up there at the top right corner. Uh, I've got 147 coins, and I've my weight is 80 of 150 right now. And we still don't have any points or attributes, skill points or anything. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, once we jump down, I was thinking that. Once we jump down, I don't think we can get back up. Yeah, we can't get back up. There is an auto-save feature. You can actually auto-save or you can manual save. So save game, new save. There we go. The Great Escape. Uh, let's see. Weird Plasm. Okay. Well, let's just take all of that. It gives me lock picks. A uh, jar and a brick hammer. A brick hammer. It's 9 to 10. It's 10 to 14. Brick hammer is 2 to 10. Well, it's like one of my weakest weapons. Okay. Maybe I can sell it later. Um, I see a guy down here. And I see a book on a table. Underground Wonders. Okay. I think I might just start taking some of these books just in case. Um, tainted red priest. Now those guys that we were fighting back there were red priests. This guy is a tainted red priest. Get our shield out. I don't know if I can. Can I sneak up on him? Get a big old whack on him. I did. Gonna whack on him. Oh, I know that that was that was rough. We got a hit off on us. Ooh, stunned him. Oh, whoa! What was that move you did, dude? Nice. There we go. You're down. Oh, alt to dash. Okay. We'll have to try and remember that. Oh. You look bad, dude. You might need to go see a dermatologist about that. Okay. Uh, is there somebody above, maybe? Let's finish going down here for a second. We have two ways to go. Uh, nothing on the table. Oh, letter. It's a diary. We'll take that. It's a named thing. Usually named things are needed, I guess. Maybe? In games? I don't know about in this game. Interact. Oh, that looks like it's going to be a bridge. We can't do anything with it right now. Um, let's go, let's go up. I saw a ladder or something here. letter. Notes of Father Volad. Take those notes. Take that plasma. A 
That's it. That was all that was up there. Something behind that. Can I get through there? I can't get through there. Well, I saw that little thing down there. I thought there was somebody standing at the end of that hallway. All right, let's see. What's down here? Oh, there's a guy down there. Okay. I might actually try and go... Oh. This is one of those areas where once we drop down, we have no way back up. That guy's already spotted us. Uh, okay. Well, if he's already spotted us... Oh, I need to eat or drink something. There we go. He's already spotted us because he moved, I think. Can I hit him from here? Oh, I can! <laughs> but he can't hit me. Yeah, he can't hit me. Can I still? Yeah, I can't hit him now. Okay. Come on up. Come back up. Get up close. Up close and personal. He might be able to hit me there. No. That's just futile. Swing. All right, I'm going to jump down. Come on, get him down. Bam. Thank you. What do you got there? Stuff. Okay, that's good. What is this, a shovel? Is there anything else? I don't see anything else. But we can't get back up there, so we have to continue moving forward this way. Who else? Anybody else? We got a shield and a club. We're good to go, right? Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, pickaxe. There's stuff in here that we can mine? I haven't noticed anything. Oop, there's some more of that weird plasm. A letter. Brother Hooger's diary? Hugar's diary? We'll take that. Might read that later. It may come to something. I don't see any. Thing. I don't know that we want to go down there or not. What is this? Touch? <laughs> it's telling me to touch it. <laughs> I usually only want to touch the stuff it tells me not to touch. <laughs> Alright, touch. Oh dear. Alrighty. Next... Uh, okay. So far, this is pretty... It's not here. You don't say. Uh, dash, alt, dash. Oop. Okay, let's dash. Use his stamina to dash. Incomprehensible speech. No kidding. What is this? You guys are creepy. <clears throat> Just to let you know. What's that out there? What are they doing with these young ones? These are statues, I guess. Okay, interesting. Are they going to come to life and attack me from behind? Oh, really? Oh, there's one of those little things there. Right? 
to hold it? No? Yeah. Looks like it's going to make a bridge. We're going to go over there next. Alright, so... I have been here. waiting a long time for someone to find me. Are you here to help me leave this place? Am I here to help you leave this place? Uh, let's see. What are you? What is this place? Uh, why are you here? You're a prisoner? Why do you want to leave? Uh, let's see. What are you? I wish I could answer. I cannot remember. I know I am not complete. I remember I once knew who I was at some point, but I do not anymore. I just um okay doesn't remember who he is what is this place? i do not know i think it is some kind of prison deep in the weirdness okay what do you know uh why are you here why are you here well i'm here because somebody broke me out of jail and i touched a thing that it told me to touch so <laughs> that's my story uh, let's see. I've been uh, transported here by a morbid statue. A man here that would explain the weirdness surrounding us. Okay. Uh, you're a prisoner? I might be. I do not know. Was I sent here for a reason? Did I end up here by accident? Like you? I, I don't know. I, I asked you the question. Uh, let's see. Why do you want to leave? It's an interesting question, but okay, we'll go with that. I've been here for what seems like an eternity. I feel I am getting restless. You are looking for a way out yourself. I think we might be able to help one another with that. I shall do something now. But trust me, the discomfort will be worth the outcome. Temporal hold unlocked. Okay. We're done. Let me get across these bodies. I'm guessing that this is going to be unlocked now. Oop. Look at the bridge. Oh, that's too cool. I like that. Whoa, it's a hole run across. I have no idea how long this is going to last. Alright, so again, we drop down. We can't get back up here. I see a sword. Oh, <laughs> like that. Uh, short sword. Take it. Parrying. One of the use, most useful skills in combat allows you to avoid all damage and greatly reduce the enemy's stamina. So, obviously, parrying, uh, you want to try and put your shield or weapon up to parry and attack as the attack is being thrown at you. To perform a successful parry, use block right before the enemy attack reaches you. That's what I just said. Perfect. I should have read it. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Swing. Nope, missed it. Oh, maybe I did get it. There it is. He's down. Give me your stuff. Uh, temporal hold allows you to slow time. However, use it however you want uh, to attack, escape, so on. But remember. That once used up, it will tend to be it will need to be recharged and recharged by killing enemies. Okay. But it doesn't tell me how to use it. Temporal hold is middle mouse. Oh, okay. I have not used that before. Okay. Um you guys. Alright, we're gonna move. 
I, I launched in on that one. My bad. Okay. 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 Well, uh, um, you guys. Whoa, that hurt. Okay. Oh my god, get back. Well, stamina. Stamina stamina would be a good thing. Please, please, please. Think, think, think. Okay. Well, get out of that button. <laughs> Try to heal. Okay, 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 okay. Three guys down. Four guys down. Oh, that dropped that. That was my bad. Excuse me. Alright, a quick one and do that. There we go. Whew. Alright, let's see how many of those I can hold. I am sorry I did oh. not ask for your permission to do that, but I hope it was worth it, as promised. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I learned about the temporal hold. I kind of knew about the parry thing. Uh, let's see. What did you do? What are you? What do you want from me? Uh, let's go. What I did you do? I found a bit of emptiness within your heart. A place where I could dwell for a while. What are you? It seems that I am a piece of a shattered soul. Judging by my abilities, I used to belong to what your kind would call... A four-dweller. Uh, what do you want from I me? I have already told you. I need your help to leave this place. Oh, and that's when right. when we are out of here, I will need your help finding the rest of me to make me whole again. I feel I am but a shadow of what I once was. Okay, how am I supposed to find the rest of you? Look for what is left of me whenever you step into the weirdness. I know your kind tends to avoid it, but you do not have to be afraid. I will be your shield against the darkness. Okay. And what I after we leave? I will help as much as I can, but I need you to hold up your end of the bargain. Uh, I will. Thank you. We shall meet again, then. Find the weirdness and look for me within the darkness. Okie dokie. Hello. Portal time. Uh, let's see. Let's finish looting these guys. Uh, there. There's a guy over here. Sword. Now, is there anything else in this area? Let me run around and see if anything catches my eye. Like there's something that we need to pick up from here. It's kind of a cool place. I am not seeing anything. Hello? Okay. Sorry, I had to take some screenshots. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and finish... Oh, let's... I need to equip something in that slot. Uh, what do we have to equip there? Uh, that, maybe? And... I'll probably just go ahead and eat one of those. So that way we're full health. All right. I need to shake your hand before I leave. All right. Oh. Oh, we're on the other side of that wall. Cause remember, we were over there before, and I couldn't reach this. Is there anything in here? I gotta always look for stuff. Okay. Interact. Well, that's too cool. Okay. So. Now we cannot go that way. 
but we can go back that way. But we can't go very far because we can't get up that little jump back into the prison. But we don't want to go back to the prison. Okay. Interact. I love these bridges. Those are so cool. This is definitely an awesome game. I love it. What was that? Um, something tells me my shield would not hold up to these guys. What are they? Powering that thing in the center? Dude, you're kind of creepoid here. Hello. Almost want to jump on his back. <laughs> I don't know that that would be a good thing to do. Wait, did I see something? No. Wow. Okay, I guess we just keep going through. Yeah. Some more weird plasma. Uh, what is down here? Oh, well, I don't think that's our guy, because I he was talking about getting out of here before we talked again. Uh, he must have been in the vision because what is beyond the sea uh, can came to us, and we don't, we do not want it. Uh, we must leave to defend ourselves. They're coming. The Titans will stay. Okay. Those big thumpy guys over there, are those Titans? Those guys are huge. Or the piece of the working titans, for without them, we would not have power within our walls. Okay, so yeah, it's those big guys back there that are powering that thing. Uh, away from Tutan, Tuatan, uh, only the power of what is underground allows us to reach where weirdness does not. Uh, even when we leave, the titans will not stop working. It is how they were created. With their power, one day we will manage to learn what lies beyond the sea. Interesting. Okay. Boom. 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 Um, what is this guy here? Is this sword? What? What is... 12 to 14. What, what was the... It's 11 to 14. Okay. I guess we can just use the sword. The dagger is 9 to 11. Very light. I guess that maybe that moves faster? I don't know. Hello? Oh, yeah, you're running at me. You, you clearly... Where'd you go? Weird spawn? Dude! That, that was freaking rude. You bastard. Um, not cool. Uh, heal. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. Dang it. Damn, you are not... Got a piece of me there. Go down. What is that thing? Burning ember. Oh man, that thumping behind me is scaring me. Burning ember. What is that? I think I want to put that there. And let's get the dagger out. Oh yeah, see that's what he was throwing. Man, it sounded like that guy was literally right behind me. Um, 15 health. I think I need this. 20 health. Yeah. Is there anybody else down here? spawn 
plasma. I don't know what we're doing with the plasma. Uh, weird stone? Okay. Is there anything else? Run, forest! There's another plasma. And another plasma. I don't know what we do with this plasma. I, just, I see them. I've got to pick them up, right? Uh, there's another portal. I'm assuming this is how we get out of here. Didn't we? We started out in a prison. And now we're in some kind of different realm. And we're going through. The Great Escape. The knight said, we'll meet again. I was reading that in the top left corner. Okay. What do we got down here? Anything? Anything? Bueller? Bueller? Interesting. Uh, flowers. A shipwreck. I see stuff down here. Well, if the boat is busted, how are we getting off the island? Ooh, bear pelt. Oh. Well, here's an unfortunate soul here. A uh, letter to the prior. Okay, we'll keep that. I'll end up reading that later. Oh, the word is silent. Found a letter that describes here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can we take his stuff? Good. Because he clearly doesn't need it anymore. There's a crab. Is that it? Uh, oh, let's go back. I wanted to look at that boat. I don't think there was anything else here. Let's go up here. There's some guys over there. Those are the guys we're going to meet in a minute. Uh, let's run up here. What's this? Somebody's sitting in the chair, drinking some moonshine. Maybe that guy down there on the rocks. That don't look good for him. Pants. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Check all of that later. Let's see if we can get up here. I'm just kind of nosing around because it's, again, we haven't quite reached that open world aspect. So I'm wanting to loot everything that we can. Pick up all of those. Ooh, feathers. Okay. That's it. Uh, I don't think I want to jump from here. We'll go back on the over here, pick up these flowers. Daffodils. Nice. I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to learn some of these recipes and stuff on what we need to be picking up. Because I would imagine that there's things that I could probably avoid picking up. Is there anything over here? Oh, wow. Okay. Here we go. Base camp. Get that. The vases, the baskets. I don't think I need any of those, but... How much weight am I at? See, I'm at 115 already. Still have yet to find a vendor. Uh, Hermit's Diary. Is that a quest item or something? Um, health potion. All right, I'll hold on to that, I guess. Take that. Don't think I need the ceramic pitcher. Get all that. Uh, what's this? Sage. I do think we needed the sage for one of those recipes. I don't think we've used that devil's doodity thing that we just picked up. Was that crafting? Is that that? Sage, daffodil, peppermint, 
Devil's Snare. Yeah, see, I don't think we've used any of that. I got 18 of those. Do they sell for anything? Oh, they do sell for four coin. Okay, well, that's something. Anything else? No. Oh, here we go. There he is. Now that we're all here, meet your new comrades, Conquer and Syria. Get some rest, people, and prepare for the journey. We're leaving at dusk. Not so fast, brother. I'm not getting near a goddamn boat unless I know where I'm going. Away from here, brother. Isn't that enough? A few wish. But since we're all here and we have some time to kill, it would be nice if you finally explained what the hell's going on. You've helped us leave our cages, great. But even though we're grateful, you owe us an explanation. What do you want from us? To show some damn gratitude for one thing. Caradoc, we weren't born yesterday. No one would risk getting into trouble with the priests for nothing. Why did you save us? Yeah. I need you to <laughs> kill King Arthur. You're insane. He's insane. The King Arthur that has already been dead for 600 years, King Arthur. Precisely. But okay. he's dead. You probably wouldn't have heard about it among the tribes little picked, but every single time things go down the shitter on this island, a bunch of cowards in Camelot bring our once and future king back from the dead. It's happened before. It will happen again. And soon. What a load of... <sighs> ah, fine. Have it your way. Let's say I believe you. You can't be serious. He believes that. There's no point in arguing with a madman. But that still doesn't explain why you saved us, Caradoc. I wish I knew why I was ordered to save you three specifically. Personally, I don't see the appeal, but I don't question my orders, and if you get on my boat, you won't question mine. Understood? Now get some rest. The tide's not right just yet, but it will break and start working in our favor by dusk. Fine. But where are we going, exactly? To the Horns of the South. Nice. A bunch of glorified fishermen who hate my people. Why would we stop there? Do they teach you, Del Reader, anything? To take the Excalibur, obviously. Obviously. He's truly insane. You'll see for yourselves soon enough. Now pin these emblems to your clothes. They will grant you free passage to the horns. And get some sleep. You all look like you're about to keel over. And we have a long journey ahead of us. Alrighty. <laughs> so, we... The three of us were, were broke out of jail. Now, granted, I didn't see these other two the entire time we were escaping. But, regardless, we were broken out so we can go and kill a dead King Arthur. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. <laughs> but, Anyway, we are out of the prison uh, and have advanced that particular quest, uh, the Great Escape. Uh, I can rest on the boat, uh, but this will mean I am ready for my journey. Okay. And then we've got a couple of other quests here to do as well. But I think we need to find this Great Escape thing and do that. But I guess we talk to Caradoc. But what I'm going to do is we're going to leave here. And I can talk to these other two people, maybe try and find out a little bit more information on what's going on. But again, it's a long dialogue, and we're already kind of lengthy into this video. But anyway, if you guys are liking this so far, definitely hit that like button. Uh, let me know in the comments your thoughts, uh, what you think about this so far. This is Early Access, Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon. Um, I, I'm, I'm excited to, to play this some more. To be perfectly honest, for what little bit I have played of it, I'm, I'm really liking this game and I'm looking forward to seeing what they have uh, in store with future updates and everything. They do have news uh, and roadmaps and stuff on the Steam page. If you wanted to go and check that out, I have all those links down in the comment or down in the description below and everything. But anyway, 
Again, if you folks are liking these, click that like button for me. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I greatly appreciate it. And we will see you folks in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.